Hey guys, it's Jennifer, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get this look. This is an under 10 minute affordable full face. This is my go-to look every day. I'm a new mother, and I don't have time to sit down and do a full glam look every day. All of these products can be bought at Ulta or any drugstore. It's super, super easy, it's super fast, and it makes you look put together, awake, and a little more fresh, and mine lasts all day long with no problems. You can tweak every little detail in this. You can switch out every product I use for something at the drugstore that works better for you. Alright, so guys, let's continue watching, and let's get started. Alright, so I've already primed and moisturized my face. The first thing we're going to go in with is the Ulta Beauty Moisturizing Foundation Stick. Mine is in Very Fair Cool. And I'm going to take this Crown Beauty brush. It's just a dome kabuki brush. So I'm going to take my foundation stick. I like using this foundation stick, like I said, because I'm a mom and I need to be put together pretty quickly. I'm going to do three streaks on my forehead, down my nose, Cupid's bow, three streaks on my chin, one under each eye, and then I'm going to do four in my temple. Like so. I know this looks crazy. Everyone looks crazy when they're doing their makeup though. So I'm just going to take my brush and begin to blend this in. I do blend it down my jawline a little bit to make sure I don't have a crazy line or anything like that. It is so crazy that I used to have like an entire room filled with makeup and beauty products and hair, like weave and stuff. And now, like, I don't have any of that. My, my makeup and beauty products are like all crammed in a closet and in a few sets of drawers. It's just crazy to me, but it's so worth it. And when we get our remodeling done at our new house, it'll be even better because I'll definitely have room to get stuff. So make sure you go up into your hairline. Okay, so you can see I look a little crazy. So the next thing we're going to go in with is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. Mine is in C1. And I'm just going to take a very little amount and dot it under my eyes. If you have any blemishes or anything, Anywhere else you want covered, you can just add that. I'm going to put a little bit of it in between my eyebrows. And I'm going to pounce this in and stipple it instead of doing round motions. Just to get better coverage. I'm trying not to make any crazy faces and it's so freaking difficult. I'm going to also take this kind of across my forehead because I'm having some problems. I tried to film this the other day and I said that like I only put the concealer under my eyes because I'm having good skin here lately and like it, literally that night I had a bunch of bumps pop up on my forehead so don't push your luck. Next, I'm going to go in with a Real Techniques Powder Brush and L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder, and mine is in 100 Porcelain, just like that. So I'm just going to take a pretty good amount, tap out any excess, and I start with my eyes, and I always stipple in my powder. My daughter is starting to cry, sorry. You want to make sure you really get the areas where you're going to put bronzer or contour powder, which for me is my temple and my cheeks, and then I always get around my eye really well because I don't want creasing. You can skip the powder step if you have skin more on the dry side, but your girl needs it. So now for a little contouring, I'm going to go in with Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, and mine is in the light bronzer because I'm so pale, and this is more of a cool tone, and this is just a wet and wild powder brush. So I'm going to start right here. My fiance is about to get her, sorry. I start right here under my cheekbone, and then I turn the brush sideways, 
and blend that really well and uh, travel up to my temple. And do the same thing on the other side. And then with whatever is left on my brush, I kind of go down my nose and a little on my chin. Just like a teensy teensy little bit. And I'm pretty heavy handed with my bronzer. Just because I'm very pale and that's what's adding color back to my skin so I don't look dead. So now that that's done, we're going to move on to our eyebrows. Super, super simple. We're going to take a spoilie and brush out our brows. And then I'm going to take the Ulta Brow, brow Brush, sorry guys, and the e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit. Mine's in medium. This comes with a powder and a gel. I clearly favor the powder a little bit more, but I do use the gel. But daily, we're going to do powder. I'm going to load up my brush. Always tap out your excess. And then we're going to start on the bottom and go ahead and I kind of drag my tail out a little bit so it's a little, so my eyebrows are a little longer. And then we're going to go on top and I'm going to add a little bit more of an arch than what I naturally have. And then turn your brush straight up and down like this and just kind of wiggle it back and forth at the front of your eyebrow and it'll give you a really nice defined look without being crazy and it still looks natural so we're going to repeat I might have to stop filming <laughs> so you just have to remember that eyebrows are meant to be twin <laughs> Eyebrows aren't meant to be twins, they're meant to be sisters, and everybody has their days with their eyebrows are more like cousins, and it's looking like that's going to be today for me. My main tip with eyebrows is not to stress out crazy. My rule is I spend maybe 30 extra seconds trying to get them to match, and then I just move on. I think that's as good as we're going to get today. So the last step of the eyebrows is to just take this Milani Eyebrow Tinted Fiber Gel. Mine's in brunette. And I go straight up at the front of the brow. And the further back I get, I kind of go to the side so they lay down. You don't have to do this, but I have some wily eyebrow hair. Oh, I think it's time for my child to eat. Okay, so now that you've run that through your eyebrows, we're almost done. A few more steps. So, the mascara I use on a daily basis is this Maybelline Lash Sensational. I have mine in very black, and it's the waterproof version. I have to use waterproof. I have very watery eyes, so I've tried so many mascaras that everyone swears by, and I don't get the waterproof version, and then it's just a mess. So I'm going to apply this only to my top lashes to give a very lifted, open look. Sorry, I keep looking in the viewfinder. I'm just trying to make sure I'm in focus. So, next to last step is I take the Smith's Rosebud Salve. This is amazing. You can buy it at Ulta. You can use this as an eye primer, any general moisturizer. You can put it on your cheeks for a little tint. I put it around my hairline when I color my hair at home so I don't get stains. Like, it is amazing, and it's like six bucks. It is super, super good, and it comes in a tube, too, because I have issues getting this little tin open when I've put moisturizer on, which, of course, is right now. Hmm. Got it, and you can tell I really like this, so I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger, 
we're going to add this to our lips. This is going to do two things. It's going to add a little bit of color and a little bit of shine. And that shine is going to make your lips look a little fuller. And, of course, it's going to moisturize. So my very last step in this routine is to take the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. My shade is in Seduction. This is just a really nice pinky nude for every day. Um, like I said, all of these products are super affordable, so you can get all of them. Yeah, you can get all of these at Ulta, except for the crown brush I use. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this. You don't want to go overboard or anything. And weird thing I do is whenever I get done putting on my lip color for the day, I take my finger and do that. And all this extra product that's come off is the product that would have ended up on my teeth. And nobody wants that. So, then the very <laughs> last steps is to take off my makeup headband, zhuzh up my hair a little bit, and then that... My bangs do this weird thing every time. It's from where I have this cow look. Anyway, so this is it. This is my t under 10 minute affordable face. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And of course, subscribe to my channel. You can always private message me if that's what you would rather do. And share the video around, guys. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.